first up is a detailed look into the topic of diurnal motion. As a reminder, we are given the definition which states that diurnal motion is the apparent daily motion of celestial objects in the sky. Objects appear to rise in the east and set in the west. This type of motion is caused by the rotation of Earth around its own axis. The sky isn't technically moving. We are. Earth's rotation is eastward. So as the celestial objects come into view as the Earth rotates towards the east, they appear to be rising from behind the eastern horizon. Similarly, they set in the west as they move out of view with Earth's rotation. Since Earth rotates once every 24 hours and each rotation is 360 degrees, we can say that Earth rotates 15 degrees per hour. In other words, the sky changes by 15 degrees as each hour passes. This means that two celestial objects located 15 degrees apart from one another in the night sky would tend to rise over the eastern horizon an hour apart. But before we see the stars of the night sky, we're greeted by the rising sun each morning. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The moon also rises in the east, even sometimes before the stars become visible, and sets in the west as well. And as the night draws on, we see that the stars too rise in the east and set in the west. But not everyone sees the same night sky. The unique pattern of stars and constellations that we see in the night sky depends on where we are physically located on Earth. Each of these people, located at various spots around the globe, will have a different, unique view of their night sky. Zoe, for example, on the North Pole, can't see any part of the night sky that Aaron sees from the South Pole. We have to keep in mind, though, that Earth's axis is in reality tilted from the vertical by 23.5 degrees. This means that the North Star Polaris lines up very closely with Earth's geographical North Pole, but it may not always align with your zenith, the point in the night sky that's located directly overhead from where you're standing. In the horizontal coordinate system, also sometimes called the Alt-As or Altitude Azimuth system because of the names of its coordinates, you are the center. The horizontal coordinate, or the altitude, starts at zero degrees on the horizon, directly in front of you, going upwards to the zenith, or the point directly overhead, where the altitude is 90 degrees. The point directly beneath you, if you were able to see all the way through to the other side of the globe beneath your feet, is called the nadir. The coordinate that determines